Hey guys, um, I have a 2003 Forerunner uh, Limited with the V8. It has 212,000 miles on it. Sorry for the beeping there. And uh, my yaw rate sensor needs to be recalibrated. Uh, I've had a check engine light come on, which kicks on the VSC track control. Unknowingly, anytime you take it to a, maybe a muffler shop, when they put their scanner in to diagnose the check engine, when they're done, my track control lights would go on. Um, unfortunately, I thought this was due to I had a bad yaw rate sensor, so I actually replaced it, and uh, that was $100, but at least I bought it on the eBay. Went through the same exercise. Um, I had to take it to the Toyota dealership for them to do a zero rate, yaw rate calibration. I actually did this twice and spent $200 not knowing that there was this problem with these older forerunners, particularly the O3s. When a code reader's plugged in, it erases the memory, kicks your track control lights on. Shame on me, I should have done some more research. So I spent $200. Well, thankfully, another guy did a video on how to do a to zero um, yaw rate yourself. So basically, that's my um, that's where they connect it, and you can see there you've got the pins at the top and bottom. Third one in from the left, fourth one in from the bottom. And basically, you follow the instructions on the service bulletin. Um, I made this little tool here, just some copper wire. They're threaded together for the final step, but you insert them in the correct spots, tap them together four or five times within eight seconds, turn the car off, and then when you turn it back in for the second time, you, you plug them both back in, but that's when they have to be fused together. Because I'm on, on my final step, they have to be connected. You, you turn the car on with them plugged in, and your track control light and your ABS lights are going to blink like crazy really fast. After they've been doing that for four, five, six seconds, um, turn it off, turn your car off, turn it back on, and attempt to move it. This is the service bulletin. If you want to look it up, it's on the internet, Toyota forums. Um, and there's actually instructions towards the back. You don't need any of these expensive Toyota tools. And you're going to follow this step. Zero point calibration. They're talking about using this fancy SST T number. That's just your jumper wires. Copper. You can use paper clips. You do it four or five times. And here they even put you a little picture for you. Which is very important. Okay. So you plug them in your copper wire or your paper clip with the ignition on, tap them together four times within eight seconds, and on your dash, the check engine and the ABS lights, first my ABS light came on, okay, um, that, that came on solid, that was not on before, so I thought I screwed something up, but then the track control started flashing and, and coming on, because remember, that's usually off until you move the car. Um, the first time I did it, I forgot to do the final steps. Um, you have to turn the car back off again, and then number step number nine. That's where you, I had to screw my two copper wires together, so they're, so they're one. Turn it on. With it plugged in, that's okay. And after I turned it on, my light started blinking like crazy. Um, immediately. There was no, like, four seconds. So I let them blink like crazy, um, and they're saying basically after they're blinking, um, turn the car off. And it worked. So I'm going to post this video, hopefully it uh, helps you guys out, but if you want this bulletin, it's on the internet, Toyota forums. Um, again, and that's your, uh, that's your reader. Good luck.